2.8, 5.6, GH6, S9, micro four thirds, full frame, 72 degrees shutter angle, 180 degrees, because I don't have an ND filter for this lens. Uh, this is also at 18 millimeters full frame. This is 24 millimeters full frame. This is the Leica Panasonic Leica 9mm f1.7 at f2.8. This is the Sigma 24mm f2 contemporary at f5.6 so that the bokeh, the depth of field matches. Who cares? Why am I matching the depth of field? Because it's fun. If I don't, then obviously this guy will be able to much more blurry background. But to be honest, it actually looks kind of nicer like this where you can kind of see the background, but at least I'm popping, whoa, pop, popping, popping out, kind of. Uh, I will say that I have been enjoying having two different cameras. Uh, kind of the same but also drastically different a uh, compact full frame and a very fat micro four thirds it's kind of strange because usually it's a compact micro four thirds and a very fat full frame but I actually enjoy this setup where the micro four thirds is super beefy and you can do a lot of stuff and the full frame is very stripped down so right now I skirt the middle of the road in terms of weight and compactness of everything but I still gain mostly a lot of performance and power more or less and everything fits within a compared reasonably small bag the bag is over here as I leave the frame and I will show you this bag as I come back in as I bring this bag back into the room So this is the bag that I normally bring out. It's just a six liter, I think it's six liters. This is a six liter Peak Design sling bag. And it's relatively small. It goes small around the size of my torso. And inside this thing, I can have a 400, I mean, full frame equivalent, 100 to 400 millimeters. But of course, this is micro four thirds at 50, 50 to 200 is even focusing still my face right 50 to 200 this one will it do it 50 to 200 so there's this lens there will obviously be a camera with a lens and then I will also have the 12 to 12 to 60 is it focusing 12 to 60 is it focusing 12 to 60 that will be 24 to 120 and then I'll have two batteries a whole bunch of stuff including a power bank a power bank some cables lens caps body caps extra cable eye drops <laughs> What else? And the front is a zip. And in the zip, I have a stereo lavalier mic if I wanted better stereo sound. And then some wipes, lav mic, uh, cat, dead cats that goes inside, and just some extra cables. And that's quite a lot of stuff that I can fit inside such a small bag. And what I really like about it is. I can walk around with a full frame equivalent if I'm using a J7 of 18 millimeters all the way to 400 millimeters. And I can bring that with me on trips to anywhere without having to have a backpack or look like I'm going on a camping trip or I'm a military personnel 
So this is quite, overall I do enjoy this setup. Basically this would be on the camera or that would be on the camera. This setup because I have so much to bring. I mean, I can, I can bring so much and it looks like so little. And then it's a big camera. And if it's not the micro four third setup, then it will be this Lumix S9 with a 24 millimeter, a 50 millimeter. And that's all the lenses I have. Oh, I do have uh, some anamorphic lenses, which sometimes I bring out for fun. And that will also fit inside. So it's kind of one camera, three lenses. It's pretty good, small bag. But the most amazing is uh, the micro four third setup where it's uh, 24 to 400, three lenses. If I really wanted to, I could still squeeze in a, a macro lens, but I've never really used all four lenses on a trip before. Most of the time, it's kind of like two or three, and I think that's mostly it. So that's it for today. I think, what am I talking about? No idea. I just have a little bit of time before I go to the office to do cat duty, and I wanted to shoot myself with two cameras for fun. Okay, bye-bye.